Hey everybody, this is Ted Forbes from The Art of Photography and I want to do a follow-up video today. And this follow-up video is to an episode I did a few months ago on a gentleman named Fred Herzog. Uh, Fred Herzog is one of my favorite photographers. If you're not familiar with him or if you haven't seen that episode, I will link it up at the end of this video. And I suggest you go check that out. Uh, Fred was outstanding. Um, he was an early colorist, uh, one of the great colorists of the 20th century. Um, similar era to people like Saul Leader, William Eggleston, but he was very unique. He had a wonderful sense of color that he would combine with this amazing talent for street photography. Uh, most of his photographs uh, were taken in Vancouver, although there are other locations in North America as well, Pacific Northwest, uh, we're looking at Portland, Mexico, um, a few other places. Uh, and anyway, after I did that episode, I got an email kind of out of the blue from a gentleman named Peter Allard. And I have asked Peter and he said I may share this email here and I'll kind of go through the, the series of emails here and I'm going to put images of what he's talking about over the top. But the first email I got was real simple, it just said, saw your short short film on Herzog. Please note the young man in the photo is a self-portrait of Herzog himself when he first came to Vancouver. Now, this kind of triggered something because I'm like, okay, this guy obviously knows something about Fred Herzog. Nice email. So I emailed him back. I told him thanks for the information. Um, and I looked him up. He's actually a, he's a collector and he collects a lot of work by Fred Herzog and he knows what he's talking about. Um, I responded and I just said, thanks for the info, Peter. I love Herzog's work. And which to he replied, you're welcome, Ted. Also of interest is the fact that the son of the man in a white shirt and bandages, the like a feature photo, came into the Equinox Gallery and said that the man who has since deceased was his father who was a logger and and came to town on weekends to drink and often got into fights. Likely it's a Sunday morning as the disapproving little old lady with the gloves may be holding a Bible or pamphlet or some sort ready to go to church. Most of Fred's photos, except for some of the car shots in Kansas, Portland, etc., some Mexican and Central American photos, are the downtown east side of Vancouver, which contains Chinatown and many poor areas. Uh, the black man with his daughter in tow is dressed to the nines, in all probability was a porter at the train station a few streets away. To a great extent, your comment that most photographers don't understand that they are chronicling, chronicling history is so very valid. Peter Allard. And so anyway, we went back and forth a few times and I asked if, if it would be possible if I could share his email on the show because I think Fred Herzog was a very popular episode. Uh, people have mentioned him. Um, I, you know, we have viewers in Vancouver who were very proud to have one of their own featured on the show. Um, anyway, so we went back and forth and he said, you know, uh, it, that he would allow me to share this with the show, but he wanted to make sure his stories weren't embellished, which is, I find funny because I do the same thing. So he ma emailed the gallery, which is Equinox Gallery that handles Fred's work. And that's what he mentioned a minute ago was the woman came in or the, the person had come into Equinox saying that this guy was the father. Um, anyway, Sophie from the Equinox Gallery responded and uh, said hello to you both. These stories are all true. I received a phone call about three years ago from a man who had been forwarded our site to look at old pictures of Vancouver. As he scrolled through, he saw the photo of the man with the bandage and immediately recognized his father. That was the story I was mentioning earlier. The other details I remember from the conversation that were his father was a little, soc little league soccer coach. He was indeed a bit of a brawler, though the man said that, that nothing compared to what he looked like after he got home and he and his wife, his wife got hold of him. I'm sure it's a bit of an example exaggeration. As for Pender, I think you are correct that the man was probably a porter and most likely lived in Hogan's Alley. Stan Douglas recently did a play about that neighborhood. Fred described that picture to me as follows. Pender Street is the main artery of so-called Chinatown in Vancouver. It is one of the largest Chinatowns in North America and comprises about 15 city blocks. In my opinion, Vancouver's Chinatown was the biggest, its biggest attraction and an endless source of photographic possibilities. This has not changed. While most of the city has been modernized, this area has greatly been left alone. I believe this man was an employee of one of the two railroad companies. He was fastidiously dressed. If I dressed up like that, I wouldn't look half as good. Whether the man was black or white was not one of my considerations. I simply knew that this could be a good photograph. So those were Fred's words exactly, according to Sophia. Um, what is interesting about this is that I do know that Fred is still alive, and I would like to continue this discussion with these two. I wanted to share their comments here. Uh, what would be really cool is, you know, here's an example of somebody who's still living. Um, to be able to document them talking about some of these things uh, would be just fantastic because a lot of the people we cover on this show are not with us anymore. And uh, so I'm going to continue to pursue this. But I did want to do a quick follow-up video on Fred and I wanted to talk about him a little bit. And, you know, once again, I think one of the really cool things that, that has happened since doing this show is that 
people are starting to see it now and out of the blue you get random emails from people who know a lot of stuff about what it is you're talking about and I'm really humbled by that because that that's what makes this worth doing for me it makes it exciting um, I enjoy the conversation I have with an audience and then sometimes when certain people in that audience are connected enough to know certain things you didn't know before this is this whole conversation is what makes this whole thing of the internet so amazing so anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys today I'll link up to the Fred Herzog episode if you have not seen that highly recommend you do uh, Fred is an amazing amazing photographer and I just think the world of him and uh, I would like to continue to push this conversation and research it more since Fred is still with us um, anyway all that to say once again this has been another episode of the art of photography and I will see you guys in the next video later